Hello everyone, welcome back, here is Vanamsen. Today we are diving deep into challenging problem from lead code that involves dynamic programming. So I know that terms might uh, sound scary, but don't worry, I'm here to break it down step by step. So let's get coding. So the problem we are tackling today is called minimum ASCII delete sum for to string. We will try to implement it in Python. So the aim here is to determine the minimum ASCII sum of deleted characters to make two given strings equal. So it's a pretty complex problem, but really rewarding once you understand it. So uh, let's go over the examples. So if we have a uh, string uh, C and we have uh, it string. So what we need to do, so it's a string S1 and this is S2 and we need to make those strings uh, equal. So as you can see, uh, quite obviously, uh, we can delete S and we can delete T and we will have a EA string that is equal to EA. And we need to return those ASCII codes. So it will be the uh, code of S uh, that is 115, 115, and also ASCII code of T. Uh, so it will be 116. And we are asked about the sum of uh, codes of all uh, deleted uh, characters. So in this case, it will be 115 plus 116. That will be 231. So uh, we are asked to return this uh, number. So now when we understand the problem, uh, Let's dive into implementation. So to solve this problem, we are going to use a dynamic programming approach. So now I know that dynamic programming can sound complicated, but it's really just about breaking a complex problem down into a simpler uh, sub problems. So first we will initialize an array, previous row, to store the ASCII sum of substring from our second string, uh, S2. So if we made S1 empty, this would be the minimum ASCII sum of deleted characters to make both strings equal. So let's implement it. So previous row will be zero times len S2 plus one and four J in range one to len S2 plus one. Uh, previous row J will be previous row minus one plus or S1. So uh, next we start iterating through our first string S1. And uh, for each character in S1, uh, we create a new array current row and we then iterate through the each character of S2 within this loop, comparing the each character of S1 with the J character of S2. So let's implement it. So for I in range one len S1 plus one, current row will be previous row zero plus word S1 and four J in range one to len S2 plus one if S1 equals j minus one, current row, append, previous row, j minus one. So uh, if the characters are equal, there is no need to delete uh, anything. And the minimum ASCII sum would be the same as the previous row and column uh, in our dynamic uh, programming uh, table, uh, which we add to current uh, row. And now if uh, they are not equal, so we then uh, have two options. So first we could either delete I character from S1 or the J character from S2. So we calculate the minimum ASCII sum for both scenario and add the smallest value to current row. So 
uh, else current row append minimum of previous row j plus word s1 uh, i minus 1 and current row j i or s2 i j minus 1 and the previous row will be current row and finally return previous row minus 1 uh, so uh, after checking all character in s2 for current character in s1 uh, we replace previous row with a current row which store uh, our result and uh, pre uh, prepares us to move to the next character in S1 string. Uh, so finally, once we have iterated through all the characters in S1, uh, the last entry in previous row will give us a minimum ASCII sum of deleted characters to make both string equal, uh, which is exactly what we are looking for. Uh, so uh, yeah, <laughs> and that's it. So now we can test it for uh, our uh, test cases. So yes, so in this simple test case, uh, there was only one option, so it's uh, two, three, one. Okay, so now let's uh, run it for unseen test cases as well. So I'm uh, submitting it and let's see how it goes uh, yep so as you can see all good we beat 85% uh, with respect to runtime and 91% with respect to uh, memory so previously I think it was a bit uh, faster yeah 95 91 but same with memory so uh, a bit uh, slower but basically the same. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful. And if you did, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more coding solution and explanation. And if you are interested in the solution in other languages uh, like C++, Java, C Sharp or JavaScript, you can find them in the description below and keep practicing, happy coding and see you next time.